Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to transfer attributes from one layer to another layer based on the spatial relationship. So let us have an intro on it. So this topic comes under spatial join in GAS. Basically, a spatial join in GAS is the process of transferring attributes from one layer to another layer based on the spatial relationship. This allows you to transfer information from one layer to another layer. In QGIS, this feature can be utilized using join attributes by location tool. Unlike attribute joins, which uses a common field to join the data sets, spatial joins uses a spatial relation through operations like intersect, contains, or within to link data based on location so what does it do as we already seen a spatial join transfers attributes from one layer to another layer based on how their geometry relate in space for example a points within a polygon lines that intersect other lines feature that are nearest to each other let us see the key difference from other overlay operations attribute table one so here Spatial join focuses on combining attributes, not creating a new geometry. No geometry changes. The spatial join doesn't modify the original geometry of the layers. And flexibility, the spatial joins offer a flexibility in choosing the spatial relation and the source of information. So let us see a small example. Imagine if you have a polygon layer of a city districts and a point layer of crime incidents in that city districts you can spatially join the point layer to the polygon layer to count how many crimes occurred in each district and that counts a, counts an attribute to the district polygon so using this example you will be easing, easy, easily finding out how much as crime has been occurred in the each district polygon so you can easily find it out so this is an example you can see the common spatial relationship so you can see here in the definition so the transferring of attributes from one layer to another layer based on the spatial relationship so what the spatial relationship is that is you can find it here common spatial relationship for example it uh, the tool uses intersects contains within equal touches overlap crosses etc so each has its own function for example if you take intersect what it means uh, two things touches or share any space even a little based on this type the information will be sharing if uh, two things touches or shares any space two layers in this example if you take a uh, contains one shape is completely inside another sh another and if you see the within it's opposite opposite of the contain one shape is inside and equal two things have exactly the same location and space shape and touches two shapes meet at the edges but don't overlap overlaps you can see two shapes share the share some but not all of the same space and if you see cross one shape goes across another so these are the spatial relationship type you can use any among this to spatially transfer the attribute information so now let us see how it actually works in JAS as you can see here you can see some uh, district boundaries and you can see the locations this location is nothing but the uh, rainfall stations and this district boundary has some information like population uh, area in square kilometers so let us uh, open and see the point attribute you can see the station name, lat long, year of rainfall, how much of rainfall has been received. And if you just open the polygon, you could see the division name, district, area and its population just for an example. So in this case, for example, I need to know how much of rainfall has been received for the districts. You can see the boundaries. So the, in, the information of rainfall is in the point feature, point layer. We are going to 
we are going to transfer the information to the polygon so for that you can use the processing toolbox and here you can just type in join attributes by location and you can see the tool over here this is the spatial join joining transferring attributes based on the location from one layer to another layer so let us use this tool join attributes by location so here let us see how to feed the data for example if we want to transfer these points info uh, that is attributes to the polygon so the join to feature in should be the polygon and after that you can see the features geometric predicate so here we have already seen that the spatial relationship uh, you can see intersects what is means two things touches or share a share any space even a little so we are going to use this function intersect in this case so it is defaultly uh, selected now you can see by comparing to here we are going to select the rainfall stations and if you just come down you could choose which uh, fields should be transferred for me i am going to choose the rainfall the year and the station name these are the fields which i required which is to be transferred from from this point to polygon okay right now let us click on okay so you could save this file as a temporary layer or you can save it to a particular location so i'm going to use this option so i'm going to give a name now after giving a name click on save now let us run the process so now the process has been successfully completed and we, when you are doing this kind of analysis make sure that both of the layers are in same projection system to get the better results now you could see that we have got an new layer called as join attributes which we have saved let me remove the point files and as well as the previous uh, bo polygon boundary now you can see that we have got the polygon boundary has the output and if i open the attribute table let us see how it looks like now you could see that previously we didn't have any rainfall data and all so year and rainfall data previously it was not there now it has been added from the point the attributes has been transferred and you can see for some uh, regions the, uh, the so like this you can see and the reason for this this is because in this region you can just check on so this is because this regions as you can see here this one this one and this one doesn't have any points so so that the attribute table is also empty in that case because this function is entirely based on the location of the it combines the compares the location of the features and it transfers the attributes based on the location so in this case in this features no points are available so no transfer of data is been done transfer of uh, attribute informations you can do the vice versa for example you can see here in this uh, polygon you will you will be having some extra data like populations area division names and all if you want to transfer it to the point it can be also done once again we are going to use the same tool join attributes by location and uh, here this time we, we are going to get the information from the polygon so the join to features in this point and after that we are going to compare it with the boundary that is polygon and here also you can choose the fields which you are interested in for example in this case i am interested in division name area population and all so let me click ok now uh, yes you could save it to a particular location using this option otherwise you can save it as a temporary file itself i am not going to do anything so it will be saved as a temporary file let us click on run once the process has been completed let us close it and now you can see joint layer this is the this is a layer after the 
transferring of attributes from the this uh, boundary to the point layer so new layer will be created like this right and you can see some informations for example if you can just see when I'm clicking over here it has been highlighted in yellow color and we are getting some informations like uh, what is the area in square kilometers of this division and how much of people are living there you can also see the rainfall demo, uh, received that it was already there so like this you can transfer attributes information from one layer to another layer based on the spatial relationship i hope that this video will be uh, useful for your analysis if you find anything difficult in this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions thanks for watching terra special goodbye